Okay, so what's your most favorite subject? Um, math, physics, chemistry, and computer science. What do you like to do at your free time? I am working on two projects, mm. creating a humanoid robot called Nazru, and, and I am also writing a book titled The Love. Wow. Do you watch TV like all the other kids, or you basically solving problems? You watch TV. I don't have a TV at my home. You don't have a TV. No. Nope. So, so how do you relax? I I solve random math problems to relax myself. You solve random math problems to relax yourself. Yeah. You said you're writing a book titled Love, right? Tell me about the book. The love is based on two movies. I love Christmas and. I'm Muslim and I love America. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the story. So Muslim and I love America is is a Muslim child struggle to create a world without terrorism. Right. Are, are you a Muslim? Yeah, I think. But you also Hindu. I think my dad made a made a mistake here. I'm not a Hindu. I'm a Muslim. So why did you decide to write this book? Who is a Muslim child? Me? You? Why did you decide to write this book at an early age? I had no plan, but one day I went to pray, pray at a mosque, and mm -hmm. and I asked, "What does a mom mean? He won't understand that word." He will understand. Imam? Yeah. I know what imam is. Imam is the person that leads the prayers. Oh, yeah. See, my mother is a Muslim, so I understand. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I. After a mom to pray for America, but because it was the Fourth of July, but the imam refused to do so. Why? Long story, long story. And I asked the imam to pray for America. Sure. Excuse me, imam. Tomorrow is Fourth of July. Can you pray for America, please? See, we, I mean, we can all pray for America and pray for ourselves because this is the country in which we live now. So, if some, yeah, somebody say, yeah. What about I love Christmas? Mm. When I I was two years old, I I lost my periodic table. Do you know? So, you tell me. Do you know what a periodic table is? What is a periodic table? It it has one hundred and eighteen elements in total, and it about chemistry. Right. Uh, 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 how is the periodic table arranged? See, I mean, see my undergraduate degree is in chemistry with a minor, uh, my undergraduate is with a major in biology, minor in chemistry. So I know something about the periodic table. How are the elements arranged in the periodic table? Uh, it's kind of like this shape I'm, I'm, these shapes I'm drawing right now. Right. So, it's, it's so, like so, who, which is the first element on the periodic table? I still remember that hydrogen. Yeah. Where is uranium on the table? Uranium. Ha ha. Remember, it's heavy. Yeah. I think it was like right here. Uranium, neptunium, mm -hmm. plutonium, americium. <clears throat> Curious. What is the main philosophy of the love? As a Muslim, I love Islam, but I also love Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, and mm. Christianity. I love to celebrate Eid, but I also love to celebrate Durga Puja, Matu Purnama, Rosh Hashanah, and Christmas. Let's unleash love to create a world without terrorism. I love that philosophy.
I do. A thing of beauty is a journey forever. The Bono Isaac's reaction letter to President Chicken introduction to my book, The Love, August 3rd, 2018. Dear President Chicken Egg, thank you for writing the foreword for my book, The Love. I'm a child. And often, children's ideas go unnoticed or ignored. In fact, you even spend time with me, spend time meeting with me on April 24th. However, you defied that stereotype and sought to listen and support my dream of eradicating terrorism and spreading love throughout the world. These are also the principles of my book, The Love. One, humanity is more important than religion. And number two, love is stronger than hate. I derived these principles from two life-changing experiences, which I, which I, hint, which I will show below. My first experience began on the eve of the 4th of July. Me and my dad were praying in the masjid. When suddenly, I asked my dad if I could ask the imam to pray for America. After my dad said yes, I stood up and asked the imam to pray for America. However, the imam refused to pray for America. This upset me because, first of all, it was the eve of July 4th, and second of all, America had helped many people, such as the Imam, realize their dreams. He wrote a letter to George Washington, apologizing to the Founding Father on behalf of the Imam's ignorance. This experience defines the first principle of the love. Humanity is more important than religion. My second experience occurred during Christmas. On the morning of Christmas Eve, I saw a tree stuck under a car tire. I, I ignored it, thinking it must have been an accident. However, in the eve, uh, <clears throat> the next day, I saw another tree stuck under the same car tire. I realized that it must have been intentional, and me and my brother pulled out the Christmas tree. We saw an another tree. Uh, on, on the third, on the next day, that we realized the owner was of this car was insulting Christmas, and we pulled out the third tree and posted a note on his windshield to love and respect all religions, even those that are completely not your own. Like Christmas experience defines the second principle of the love. Love is stronger than hate. Thank you so much for capturing the essence of the love so thoroughly in your forward and for taking my interview on April 24th. I'm sure that soon together we can change the Muslim perception on other religions to be more tolerable. And soon other religions will follow our example. Once again, thank you so much, President Sikinegbi, and I look forward to our future collaboration. Centrally, Sabono Isaac. A thing of beauty is a journey for